A heartbreaking breakup, five years after, Selena Gomez has opened up about how Justin Bieber's split impacted her life then in her latest interview with Fast Company. She revealed why she disappeared from social media for some time a few years ago. She did a very candid interview giving a sneak peek inside of her personal life. Let's get into details, but first don't forget to subscribe to our channel for latest celebrity tea. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber dated on and off for more than half a decade and finally broke up in 2018. In all of this chaos, she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She only made her condition public two years later and she explained she was freaked out at the thought being open would lead to her being judged and losing work. I didn't want to be afraid of it anymore and I didn't want it to feel like it was a Big, big scary thing and I was going to be titled as that. I just She said, none of the sample sizes were fitting and that would make me feel embarrassed. I thought this is the end for me. Speaking to Fast Company, Selena Gomez described her post-breakup period as the worst time of her life and said, I had just gotten my heart broken. I didn't need to see what everyone was doing. Referring to Justin Bieber's split. Of course it broke her heart by being replaced with another woman just two months after breakup. Justin Bieber was confirmed to be dating now wife Haley Baldwin and married her quickly. Selena has admitted her heartbreak was one of the deciding factors in her deciding to step away from Instagram. Describing her mental health disorder, she said she barely felt positive about her appearance and had body image issues during that time. Normally, and then when I'm off of it, I tend to, to kind of lose weight. Selena went through highs and lows and wanted to cancel things. This also include the revival tour that abruptly got canceled after 55 shows because she has to take a break and got hospitalized prioritizing her mental health. The interviewer said that Selena broke down in tears while sharing that it was the coolest gift to help others going through this battle. On because I feel like there should be conversation and that should be something normal and I hope that's what it becomes. She said it breaks my heart to hear a girl come up to me and say I was so close to taking my life, but when I watched your documentary, I couldn't imagine doing that anymore. That documentary, of course, was Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me, which premiered last year. Um, in this documentary, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um... In addition to her bipolar diagnosis, Gomez also suffers from lupus and underwent a kidney transplant in 2017. Selena now said that her sad girl era is over and it'll reflect in her upcoming songs. She shared that her upcoming new album that she's working on doesn't have any sad song. Um, there's not one sad song on my album. However, Selena remains realistic about having bad days in the future. I've always been honest with my fans. Even when I take breaks from social media, I'll say I'm taking a break. Since launching Rare Beauty three years ago, Gomez has made it the company's mission to support a number of charities that work to end mental health stigmas through its Rare Impact Fund.